As you learn more about the candidates to get ready to vote, you're going to have to keep your guard up against disinformation. We talked with the GOP Senate hopefuls about this and how to help voters get accurate information. We also talked about the role that social media companies should play in all of this. We're going to start with Arnold Mooney and the role these companies that are now such a big part of our days should play in fighting disinformation. I think social media companies need to be held to the standard of truth in their uh, process as well. We can't allow them to be able to share information that is incorrect and untrue. So there's no question that we need to pay attention to what's occurring through social media. That's how incorrect information gets out, and we've got to be eternally vigilant to pay attention to that. Judge Roy Moore says this information is a very big problem, and he's concerned about its impact on campaigns, specifically with how fast it can spread. In terms of the role that social media companies can play. Well, quite frankly, they could play two roles. Uh, they can let this disinformation be disseminated, or they can stop it. And I think sometimes they're a little slow to stop it. I think that's one thing. But as far as social media goes, it does give some element of assistance to those that have less money. And Tommy Tupperville says social media companies have to be responsible to some degree and says that we should look to their expertise to help address these issues. We don't want to put a lot of money into it in terms of, of hiring people to, to work with them. We've, we've got to, you know, it's free enterprise. You know, you're responsible for it. You develop this, you also got to help control it. You got to put money into in, to control it and make sure it's done the right way. We're going to keep that conversation going with some of the other candidates coming up in just a few moments. In the meantime, look for our full interviews with the candidates right now on the WVTM 13 app. It's in the politics section. You'll also hear from several of the candidates Thursday night live in our debate. That's at 8 o'clock. The race for the Democratic nomination has moved to Nevada and candid uh, candidates are making the most of the time they have left. Ahead of Saturday's caucuses and Wednesday's debate, early voting is underway in Nevada. Democratic presidential hopefuls are courting voters with Michael Bloomberg shaking up the race and the polls picking up the attention of his competition. Amazing to me is that they are all going after someone who is not even on the ballot in Nevada.